want to obey, open up with the Lord. Lord, I want to obey you, but these are the things that hinders me. Help me to overcome these hindrances so I can do what you want me to do and to be a blessing and to be used for your kingdom. This is our heart's desire, to be used by the Lord in his kingdom. Amen? Okay, next slide. Has the law of Moses, as most Christians today are declaring, been nailed to the cross? What, what do we mean by nailed on the cross? That this means is, it is not relevant anymore to us, that we don't need the law of Moses. Okay, the fundamental point that must be kept in mind is that the law of Moses was given to the nation of Israel and not to the Gentiles. But Deuteronomy 4, 7, and 8, Psalm 147, 19, 20, and Malachi 4, 4, keep in mind that we are Gentiles. Okay, please read Deuteronomy 4, 7, and 8. Deuteronomy 4, 7, and 8. What other nation is so great as to have their gods near them the way the Lord our God is near us whenever we pray to him? And what other nation is so great as to have such righteous decrees and law as this body of laws I am setting before you today? See, the, the Jews, the Israelites, they really are special to the Lord. What about Psalm 147, 1920? Yes, he deals his word to Jacob, his laws and decrees to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his laws. Praise the Lord. Amen. So, Israel is very special to the Lord. And Malachi 4 4, Brother Ray. Remember the teaching of Moses, the commandments that. He gave to you in the Mount of Sinai to abide or follow the people of Israel. So, the law was given to the Israel and not to the Gentiles. But do you think those laws does not apply to us also? If we want to receive God's blessing in our life, those are fundamental laws. They won't hurt us if we obey. It the Gentile Christian. So that the, the Israelites will feel jealous because of their hardened heart. Yes. Can rape the Christian Gentiles. Yes, because. Para, na na yes, because, because of that. The, the Israelites rejected God's law. That's why we were able to enter the promised land. Another fundamental point is that the law of Moses constituted a temporary system. God never intended it to be permanent. Temporary lang. Diba? It's just a shadow, as stated in Hebrews. Next slide. The other covenants that God made with Israel, the Abrahamic, the Benic, and land covenants, and all declared to be everlasting. Okay, Genesis 17, 7. Establish my covenant as an everlasting covenant between me, between me, between me and you and your descendants after you for the generations to come, to be your God and the God of your descendants after you. So this is God's covenant with Abraham. So it is an everlasting uh, covenant. What about Second Samuel twenty three five? What Jerry? It shall my house right with God. Has he not made with me an everlasting covenant? Arranged and secured in every part will not uh, bring to fruition my salvation and grant me my every desire. So this is God's covenant with David. That Jesus came from the lineage of David. Okay, what about um, Psalm 105, 8 to 11? He remembers his covenant forever, the word he commanded for a thousand generations, the covenant he made with Abraham, the oath he swore to Isaac. He confirmed to it to Jacob as a decree, to Israel as an everlasting covenant. To you I will give the land of Canaan as the portion of you will inherit. Okay, the promised land. That's the promise, that's the land covenant. The Mosaic law is never classified in scripture as eternal.